There is a dense, forbidden jungle at the bottom of Rainbow Pond, and a dark cave where no one dares to go. No one, that is, except the bullfrog known as the Don of the Pond, Pookie's father, Leopold. Brodo, I swear to you, I've not been doing any pilfering. Your tribute to me has been much smaller lately. I don't know if I can trust you anymore. Honest, I never done nothing like that. Don't interrupt me while I'm chastising you for pilfering, or I'll cover you down like a bug, and then I'll find someone else to run the rackets on Rainbow One. Do you understand me? Oh, please don't do anything like that, Bruno. All right. Bring me twice as much tribute as usual, sometime today or tomorrow. Otherwise... You heard me, I said I want twice as much tribute as usual, otherwise... <laughs> okay, Bruno, you got it. Meanwhile, in another part of the pond, the children were frolicking happily, unaware of the monster catfish living in the cave in the forbidden jungle. Pookie had made an interesting discovery, and she was showing it to Jonathan, whose eyes were wide with wonder. Uh, what's it called? It's called a mirror, I think, Jonathan. Is that really me in there? Yuck! Hmm. Uh? Ah! 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 Oh, 
Did the great frog bless our endeavor, Jonathan? Yeah! He sure did! Well done, Tad. I told you Zari wasn't very swift in the IQ department. Now we got him out of the way for good. Not as swift as Jonathan? Yeah! <laughs> our friend Jonathan has saved the day! <laughs> I beg you, Papa, in Frog's name. Mm. Uh, Papa? Mm, I guess I'll think about it. I thought you were going to start being nice to the frogs here in the pond. Why should they have to pay us? It ain't my fault what Zari does. But Zari works for you. Oh, Papa, don't lie to me. Okay, how can you say that to your own Papa? Don't you trust me anymore? I don't know how I care when we always have so much. And everyone else has so little. Why? Now, Pookie Wookie. Uh, Zari, I'll get to the bottom of this. Uh, where is that guy? I'll skin him alive. I'll fracture him. I'll murder him. I'll tell you he'll never work again in this poor Nella. <laughs> I'm going to take care of that fella now, Pookie. Yeah, Zari knows how to collect. Oh, this is lovely. Lovely. I just wish I didn't have to give the biggest chunk of it to Bruno. Maybe I'll get lucky and he'll choke on it. <laughs> hey, what the... Oh. Help! Uh, Jonathan, Jonathan, my friend, help me. You're just getting a taste of your own medicine. Jonathan, I always liked you. <laughs> Good. Now I'll just take Leopold's loot and give it back to the people who rightfully own it. <laughs> oh! I tried not to tell you this, but I'm not the boss of Rainbow Pond. Huh? I'm only an administrator. <laughs> all this time I've been collecting the tribute for somebody else, you know. I've been a benefactor to all the citizens of Rainbow Pond to protect them from somebody else. Yeah? Who else? Well, if you must know, the real boss is Bruno the Great. Uh, Bruno the Monster? What? Uh, you mean Bruno lives in Rainbow Pond? <laughs> Answer me, you jerk. He lives in the Forbidden Jungle. Take us there. Yeah. Bruno will eat us all if we go in there. You're gonna take us to Bruno whether you want to or not. Oh.